Sea Destroyer canoe. And um, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna look at the road instead of the camera. Uh, when I, while I was doing this research, I came across this guy that was selling an antique uh, Cedar Strip canoe. Uh, and from the pictures, it looks anywhere between 50 and 100 years old. I don't know. I have, I've only seen a couple pictures. So I guess, uh, yeah. So he was selling it for 365. Uh, it's three hours away from my house. So I said, uh, what the hell? Or, I might as well uh, put in an offer. I just uh, sent him an email and uh, I offered him 250 for it. And uh, my surprise, he actually took it. So I'm driving there right now. I just finished work Friday afternoon at 4. And uh, so I should be there around 7 tonight. So uh, hopefully when I get there, there won't be any surprises. Uh, the pictures made it look like it was pretty sound. Pretty secure, like um, yeah, pretty sound. No, no big cracks on the sides, or but I haven't seen the bottom yet. Hopefully, the bottom doesn't have any uh, major damage. So I will be. This series will be documenting, uh, obviously, the uh, going to get it, uh, taking it back to the shop. I'll be stripping it. Uh, it doesn't. It seems to have some stain on it rather than paint, but it does seem to have some paint flecks too. I don't know if there was a membrane, uh, like a plexiglass. Uh, membrane on it before but I guess I'll know more details once I got it but um, so we'll be cleaning it up bringing it back to the the original cedar color uh, with some uh, deck cleaner and uh, then we'll be oiling it to get the wood back to normal or back to health so sanding it down I guess I'll sand it before I oil it, oil it. and um, yeah, so great learning process. I've never done anything like this before, but I've, uh, I have a lot of experience in woodworking and finishing and stuff like that. But uh, this is my first boat. I'm really excited. And uh, I'll go take you guys along with me for the experience. And hopefully, well, if any, any of you guys are thinking about doing this, uh, hopefully some of my experience, my mistakes, uh, you'll, that they'll give you a chance to learn by them. So um, yeah, stay tuned. So we're on the road. I'll take uh, three cheeseburgers yes. and a uh, bottle of water. Is there anything else? Uh, what do you guys want? Nothing? You sure? Okay. Uh, nothing else, no. It's 765, you can run through the first window, thank you. Thank you. Take the Kingston 9 exit. So another three hours should be home around 11 o'clock. Uh, 
Um, it was pretty dark, but I mean, they, the guy had a flashlight out and uh, showed me the hull. Uh, it looks like I'll have my work cut out for me. As a woodworker, I'm gonna have to get out some new. Uh, I'm gonna have to learn some new techniques. But I mean, that's the that's kind of the point of uh, taking on any new projects to learn new things. Um, it does still look as you know, structurally sound, but uh, it was a. Um, um, not too sure if I'm saying this right, but like a canvas. Yeah, I guess it was a canvas canoe. So instead of just using um, uh, varnish and shellac, uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll still have to do the whole cleaning cleaning side of things. But uh, once I have everything cleaned off and back to the original wood, um, I'm gonna have to uh, get a plexiglass or um, fiberglass, sorry, a fiberglass membrane to uh, cover the outside uh, so that's, that's that, yeah, basically that's what I have to do so which is what I would have had to do had I uh, made like when I make my own uh, cedar strip canoe so uh, it's all a good experience so uh, yeah on my way home Here we are back at the shop with the canoe safely here. Uh, yeah, so here, like I said, we'll have to take off the, this membrane. Uh, most of it seems really quite sound. Uh, I did get a slight surprise at at this end here, you see the bottom is not too bad, but there is this big ass hole here. I wasn't expecting that. So that will be one repair. And I think the one of the hardest things is going to be trying to fix these the uh, the lines, the, not the lines, sorry, the um, um, undulations, if you will, like the. The boards, yeah, I don't think you can see that. Maybe there. It goes back and forth like it bumps. Um, this could be just salt and glue. Yeah, like it, it's very kind of. Uh, some of these boards are kind of bumpy. Here's one that I don't, I hopefully I'll be able to fix. It's kind of coming out here, but I mean, the the wood is still quite sound. It doesn't seem to be much rot at first glance. Uh, So big cleanup job, but the hull does seem pretty solid. So I just gotta figure out, you know, how to bring some life back into this wood. And uh, but it does look pretty good. So the biggest, I guess, the biggest repair is the hole down there. And it's on the other underside too, eh? So I guess if I, even if I, if if it's a little bit of patchy job, uh, it won't be as visible. But anyway. Home safe, tired, long drive. Long drive after a very long week. So, this, let this thing dry out and uh, gotta finish my cucks at first before I start on the canoe. Uh, cucks is still drying. Looking good though. The, uh, the grain pattern really comes out. Oh, once the uh, the finish is on it, it's almost dry. Maybe another. I might, I might try standing that on Sunday. We'll see. All right. Well, road trip done. Uh, like I said, long drive, but we got our canoe. 
and it'll be a lot of work but uh looking forward to it well see you guys in the next, next episode